Okay, if you look towards the bottom of the screen on the right hand side, you're going to see the stamp tools, the stencil tools, and the fall off. Now the fall off tool uh, allows the sculpting tool to create a rounded or blended surface. Or depending on what you create, uh, if you're creating something maybe more mechanical, it can create a sharp edge. With my characters and with faces, I use more of the rounded off angle. So let's just develop this face. Start adding some character to this low poly head. Next, I'll probably, I'm gonna use the grab tool. Uh, the grab tool is, uh, an excellent way to pull the polys. I'm going to pay attention to my fall off angle. It's rounded and I'm going to pull this cranium, really manipulate it. It's symmetrical on both sides. Go back in, select my sculpt tool, start creating a little bit of the brow. Uh, one thing that I'd like to tell you is that I use the mouse um, to sculpt. Uh, during the, the, the process of the sculpting um, in the early stages, I, I tend to use the mouse. I got used to using it when I only had that as my only tool. Um, and then once I got a tablet and a pen, then when the character starts to get a little bit more detailed and there's more polys, um, then I'll use uh, the tablet. But don't be afraid to use the mouse. You can do a lot with this. I'm using the mouse right now. It's a little slower, um, but it works. And if you don't have access to a tablet, don't worry about it. 